Hey, people, we're back in the closet. We are. <laughs> Sorry. You doing you in your own world over no, there? No, I'm, I'm just finishing a post, you know. I post. I got to do my last one of the day. I try to do three a day to stay in the algorithm. Post it up. I am. I am. So what's up? Not Jeff's, much. Jeff's sick. I'm sick. Jeff's sick. I probably sound sick. No, I you feel really... sick. I feel less sick. My head isn't hurting like it was earlier. You don't sound any different at all. Do I not? In my head, I sound totally different. That's probably all the pressure. No. My ears, there's fluid behind my ears, so whatever you, that means. So you went to the doctor, and the doctor said, "You've got no more monkeys jumping on the bed." No, don't do that. Did, did you? Don't do that ever again. Come on, it, 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 you didn't do little monkeys jumping on the bed when you were little. When I was little, yes. Ten little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell uh, off and bumped his little head. It's enough. Yeah, I did that when I was young, but no, that's not what the doctor said, and the doctor didn't say anything. The nurse practitioner said... Oh, whatever. Same thing. The nurse practitioner said, you have a mild sinus infection. Mild? Well, she felt all over my face. Oh, you know, did you like that? A little. Um, <clears throat> she felt all over my face. She pushed and prodded and asked me if it was tender or if it hurt. <laughs> And I don't, I don't know. I said no to all the touchings mm -hmm. because it didn't hurt and there wasn't pressure. And she looked in my mouth and she looked in my ear and she looked up my nose. She said my nose were angry. Your nose she were angry. She said it's angry up there. Oh. I said okay, so that's bad, right? And she's like, yeah, there's something going on. And one of my ears, the ear that hurts, was perfectly clear. The ear that doesn't hurt and hasn't hurt ever has fluid. Behind it, That's I don't so understand weird. the behind it. And I don't understand the fluid behind it. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. I can't picture that. But hmm, what was I going to say? I don't know. But she said, "Here's what you can do." I said, "So she was prescribing me things, and she said, no." I said, "Wow, who Sorry, said?" I'm trying to get there. I'm sick. Give me a break. I said, "Are you prescribing me an antibiotic?" Or do I need one? And she said, well, I'm going to prescribe it. And you can wait a couple of days and see if, you know, what happens. Right. She said, but to be honest with you, you're just, she said, I, it, we were kind of catching it early before it gets bad. Um, she said, so if you wait, you're really just waiting. You're just going to have a couple of bad days. And it's just going to get worse, more than likely. So I might as well take that. You know what I mean? If yeah, I didn't take I would, the medicine. So I'm just I, taking it. I just took dumb. it a minute ago. Yeah. <clears throat> but I got to take it every 12 hours for 10 days. Oh, gosh. Have fun with no. that. Every 12 hours till they're gone, which equals about 10 days. You know what? Do you, because there's 20 pills. Do you know, good math, do you know what's lucky about, or how, why guys are so lucky? Why? Because a lot of times, when women take an antibiotic, man, that drink is red. When women take an antibiotic, we automatically get a yeast infection. Yeast, yeast. But do you, do you? Yeah. You won't. It happens almost every time I take an antibiotic. It sucks. It's like I might as well just guarantee it. So the doctor, when he ever gives me an antibiotic, he just gives me another little pill for if that happens, because it always does. Hmm. Isn't that great? I mean, being a woman is hard work. It really is. But I want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like, I feel like we may have talked on this once before. And, and we need to be, a long we need ago. to just chill out with the freaking, the gender specific stuff, okay? Being being a human is hard work. No, being a woman is hard. We're not going to do this whole. I am identifying as a woman because I am you one. You identify and it's as hard. a woman, but you no, need to use your pronouns. No, I'm not going to use damn pronouns. I think being a woman is hard. I never said being a man wasn't hard. I'm I'm saying women deal with different things than men deal with. And and it's hard being a woman. I'm not saying it's not hard being a man. You just don't get yeast infections like I never I said do. it was hard being a man. Okay. But I, it but it is. I'm not Sometimes. I'm sometimes not, it's easy. Women deal with more than men do in in a physical type of way. You don't have a period, you don't get yeast infections, you don't bleed every month and then have to go through this thing called menopause. You go through what midlife crisis, eh, whatever. Buy a motorcycle, get a tattoo, go get a young chick. I don't know what you're gonna do. Two are like, two are like, twenty something. We get, we get, um, 
random hard ones for no reason. We're not even horny. It's that's, hard to control it. Just, it's a lot of stress okay, and anxiety. Girls, girls get random wetness. I mean, what? Yeah, but nobody's gonna see that. But we feel it. Well, that's not. That's that's. And that's how do you hot. know nobody's that's gonna hot. see it? See, that's the thing. It's hot for you. Just we better move on. We bet to move on. You're barking up the wrong tree. Sick or not. This is how we talk. I just think that physically it's harder to be a woman. Okay. We have the babies. You do. We have the periods. We have the cramps. But see, here's the one thing that you aren't taking into account that men have to deal with. What? That women don't. What? The women. Yes, I do. I have daughters. Well, then you know. You can I relate. I do know. Okay. <laughs> I, it, that part's hard. I don't, I don't deny that, and I do feel a little bit sorry for you. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Because us men can be difficult to deal with no as well. No doubt. Say you can. But, unfortunately, for women and for men in the same boat, when you have things like PMS and menopause, it's like, it's like, it's like you're possessed, and you can't control I know. Things, I told you right? that the other day. I know. Here's another thing that women deal with that men don't have to deal with as much. Which was, I was going to ask you a question. Do you feel like that older people, and I'm going to use men in this situation because this is what happened today, feel entitled to just do whatever the freak they want because they're older and they can? I think so, and I think it's true once you get to a certain age. I think once you hit, like... I don't know it'll change because it seems like the the age gets later and later and later that people are, like, older and less unattractive. You know what I mean? And people are just, mm-hmm. like... Well, it has nothing to do with about them, be, them being unattractive or attractive. It's just them being mm-hmm. older. Because here's what happened. Today, I was at the gym. I know that's a shocker. What are mm-hmm. you doing? Why, why are you messing with that so violently? Because I'm mad because I said, like, twice. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, I was at the gym today, and for some reason, over in the freeway area, it was mainly <clears throat> older men. I was the only woman over there at the time. There were a couple young guys, and the rest, and when I say the rest, there was like a good five, six older men. And when I say older, I mean like late 50s and up. If somebody comes in like like when you right when you started that... And they didn't hear any of the, like, earlier stuff where you were going to tell a story and you seemed, you explained the older people thing. Mm-hmm. The way you just said that, if somebody came in, they'd be like, oh, wow, they're talking about porn again. <laughs> some creepy <laughs> fetish where she's in a gym and no. there's some younger guys and some older guys and there's going to be a gangbang. No, there was not. But anyway, so the first thing that happened no. is it's leg day for me, Okay. And I do some weird it's leg, a big day. I do some weird leg and glute exercises. I don't care. I, I don't I'm over the fact back in the day I would have been like, ooh, I'm never doing this in this room. I'm gonna go over here in the corner and do it. No, I'm gonna do it because I need to get it done and I'm not gonna go try to find the, the right place to do it. So I was standing where the freeways are <clears throat> and I was doing goblet squats and then whatever. But anyway, at this point where this is going to happen, I was doing lunges and I was super setting with RDLs, Romanian deadlifts. So that's basically where, you know, you're Basically, you're begging for it. <laughs> Women doing that in the gym, they're begging no, for it. No, I'm not. They want you to come up to them, gentlemen, and they want you to smack that ass no. and ask them to go somewhere with you. I don't know. They're begging for it. RDL, so you are bending over, so your butt's going back. And you're, anyway, I'm already here and I'm doing it. I'm in like the second set. So I, I've established my, my ground your and territory. where I'm, my territory. Yeah. This old man comes in and Every, if you've been to a Planet Fitness, you know there's multiple Smith machines. Every Smith machine was open, except one in the corner. There's and, five or six. And he decided he would just go ahead and, and, and post up at the one right behind me. Okay? Fine. I'm like, dude, maybe you're like me in your territory and you're like, you like a specific. Yeah, routine oriented. Fine. Okay. I can ride with that. But That's then, not the proper terminology to use in this situation. <laughs> but then he sits there and he proceeds to stare because there's a mirror. He's literally right behind me. I can see him in the mirror. Every time I bend down to do my R, lean over to do my RDL, there he is with a, like a weird thing on his face, a weird look on his face. 
staring, not looking to the right, not looking to the left, not fiddling with a shoe. He has no like, idea there's a mirror either. He's just staring at your butt. It's like that. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, there's etiquette, okay? Fine, you pick you pick the Smith machine right behind me, which is creepy. <clears throat> That's okay. But at least look around, fiddle with your shoe, rack the weights while I'm doing it. You know, do your set while I'm doing my set so at least you're laying down, you can't see me. I mean, there's like etiquette there, right? There's there is been guys, a skill there's been to guys, looking at girls there's been guys, and guys. There's been guys that I have felt move to make me less uncomfortable, I feel like, because I was already there and they like sat. You know what I mean? Like Yes. So, anyway. Because was, it makes them uncomfortable because they know they're going to look. That was the first thing. He didn't care. He was just looking. I didn't move. I didn't care. I need to do my set. Then, there's this other guy. Oh, my gosh. Older guy again. And... I was in the middle of some, doing, like, literally in the middle of doing an exercise. I have my big headphones on. They're not the little iPod one, or the, what are they called, AirPods? AirPods. I do do have those. But I had on my big old JBLs, like, they're big earmuffs. Clearly, I have music on. I'm in the middle of an exercise, and he comes up to me, crosses his arms, and starts talking to me. And I just said out loud, I was like, dude, I can't hear you. I have these headphones on. I can't hear a word you're saying. He's kept talking. And then walked off. I was like, what the heck? Then I'm doing kneeling squats. Same guy. I see pointing at me, talking to another guy. And then, and he's pointing at me. And I'm like, what the heck is this guy doing? So then I was done. He comes up to me. I finally take my headphones off. And this is what I said. I was like, what? And he said, oh, I was just telling my buddy over here, that's the best way to do squats is on your knees because you don't, you know, and he just proceeded to go on. I was like, yeah, they're really good. They're really good for the glutes. And then, then he proceeds to tell me about an injury. I'm coming off an injury. I busted up my knee. I've been out of the gym for two months, but I'm back. Everybody can't believe how small, how much smaller I am now. I lost a lot of muscle mass and I don't, all this happened at, at once. I'm going through a divorce and I'm like, I don't give a crap. I don't, why do I, do I care? And I'm trying not to be mean. You could be there for him through I, his I, divorce, no. and you know he's know. already planned in your head that he is going to get more muscular. He just had an injury. I see why he's divorced now, because he's annoying. So I keep trying to put my headphones on, he keeps on and on and on. He's going to listen to this podcast. No, he's not. No. And if he does, good. Maybe he'll leave me the heck alone. I think your boy listened to the podcast, because he's weird to me now. Who? The dude that drank our beer. Remember the dude that drank our beer with Nate's friend's dad that came in, drank beer, and invited <gasps> himself over, kept texting you? Oh, no. Do you think? I don't know, but I've passed him twice at the school. Maybe he didn't remember you. No, he would remember me. Yeah? Because I'm Nate's with me. Yeah. He'd remember me, and he's going to talk my ear off. I don't know why he would oh, talk well. my ear off. Now he's ignoring me. You know what I mean? Oh, well. It'll be all right. Which which is fine. No, I'm not upset about it. It was great. It, it's a, I would talk. If he confronted me, I'd be like, dude, it's gold. Yeah. It's one of my favorite ones. Yeah. It's a it's a bit. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a great story that can be told over and over again. Right. Uh, I mean, not great, but it's funny. Yeah. And it can be funnier the more you tell it, the better you get at it. But anyway, back to your your show. So, so yeah. So, that, there was there was that. And I'm, I'm just thinking why I don't understand why. Like he talked to me forever, literally forever, and I'm trying to get through this work, and I have a limit. I haven't. I needed. I need an hour and a half to do my legs, and dude, you're cutting into my time. So I finally put my headphones back on, whatever. Then I go over to the cables to do another exercise, and I was standing up by the cables to take a break. This other older guy comes, and I mean, literally, stands right beside me, like he's going to say something to me, but doesn't. Proceeds to just stand on his phone and like check his phone right beside me, like you would come up to me and stand beside me that close. Why? Like standing with you like you're with each other. Yes. Like standing like your friends like, or you're working out together. Yeah, I don't know why he's there. And he just stood there. Didn't say a word to me or anything, but just checked his phone. And I couldn't even like move to do my next set because I needed to get down on the ground. But he was in my way. And then he just walked off. It's like I feel like the older generation either doesn't understand personal space. Or etiquette. Gym etiquette. Or gym etiquette. Or doesn't care because they're like, I'm old. I can do what I want. I, and maybe that's not true. Because at least the younger guys that are in there, they, they don't do that to me. Like, they'll say something and, like, like they know gym etiquette. Like, she's got her headphones on. Most people don't approach me. But when I take them off, it's sometimes a different story. Right. But 
these older people just like stand there and talk to you with your big headphones. I'm like, I, you know, I can't hear you right now. I hope he's in there next time we're in there together because I want, I, I'm going to pawn him off on you. But it's like, up at, and when they talk to you, they're all up in your personal space. A guy at any time fitness, an older man, used to do that to me. Like, he talked to me really nice. I really like oh, him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Gets way up in your face. Like, he's right. like, if he. Way too close. Yes. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. There's personal space, right? There's a zone. There's a zone. I don't know. Anyway, that's what happened. What is it with the. Like, <laughs> the oh, my. Jeff is sick. Oh, my. Had a tickle in my throat. Oh, my goodness. Any, what, what, is it, what is it with the. Um, the older people, and, and generally it's almost every single male over 65 working out in the gym, got to be up upper 70 percentiles, that they have to use the cable machines for golf scoring practice. I don't know, but they also use dumbbells for the same thing. It's unbelievable. And I know you want to strengthen your game. I wonder if it's really an exercise. Like, I wonder if they saw it in Golf Digest. I mean, maybe it does improve your swing. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it could help your torque if you did it, but just do core work. Right? Right. Just do your twist thing. Like, your your the arm, like where you hold the, the rope out, straight out in front of you. Right. And go side to side. Right. The, and, I, and strengthen your, 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 you know, your core yeah. and your sides so that you can get your torque. Because I know that's what they want. Is they want to they want to hit the ball a little further. Maybe that is it. They're because losing I d- it as they're getting old. I do notice some of the older because they don't lift weights because weights builds muscle mass and bone density that they can swing harder. I saw your IG stuff. Did you see today's injury prevention one? Lifting weights helps with injury pre- prevention. Oh. It strengthens your muscles, your and your tendons. It protects your joints. Yes, it, you need to listen to it. Anyway, I'll listen to it. Do you know what else happened in the gym yesterday? I already t- I told you one story, but I def I yesterday there was a guy in the gym. I have a lot of gym stories. I'm sorry, but a lot of funny things happened in the gym. Yes, I swear to anything that I'm sitting on the bench getting ready to do my chest press. And I look in the mirror, and behind me on the Smith machine, there's a guy full on playing the air drums. I mean, uh, he was, yes. it was drum solo time. You know the Phil Collins song when they, when they break out in the drum solo? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm imagining that's what he was listening to because the drum, the air drum solo was on point. I love playing the air drums though. I didn't know what to do. And I'm thinking, I text Jeff, I was like, PSA. Please, never play the air drums while you're lifting weights. Not even at Planet Fitness, because you look dumb AF or something like That's that. That's exactly what you said. Because he did. And I said, I don't know whether I should laugh, ignore him, or break out my air guitar and join him. Like, what song we listening to? Man, I brought my guitar. You know? Yeah, that would have been funny. And what 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 the heck? You know, that that's, that's one thing. There are things that... that we all do that people do that make them feel that give them some kind of rush of dopamine or make them feel cool and it's the stupidest looking thing ever i mean there's all kinds of things people do but they can't resist doing it right you know what i'm saying like that like to him he probably felt like i'm the man like i feel cool (laughs) like yes i don't know how i know but you know what i mean it's like or maybe he even thinks this probably doesn't look that great, but man, I feel great. I'm pumped. Well, I mean, I understand being pumped in the gym. Okay. I see people doing a little dance here and there. That's okay. Whatever. Not like Happy Feet guy, which I haven't seen in a while. Remember how we used to talk about Happy Feet in the gym? That guy that danced like all all out, like dance routine in the middle of sets. Oh, yeah. And he yeah. would twirl. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen him in a, in a hot minute. But, you know, some people like do a little dance, do a little like, you know what I mean? Like a little sw- little sweat. I mean, that's fine. You feel it? Oops. Sorry, you're feeling the music, but to break out the air drums is unnecessary. No air drum zone. Say <clears> that, <throat> that, that, that wonk alarm should have gone off, because I was intimidated by that. This old, I, old, older people talk brings up a question. Okay. Because I was thinking about this, and I think that it's probably pretty true, this concept. I'm not saying it can't happen, I'm just saying 
when I talk about this, I'm going with the percentages and the majority of this this works with, okay. and it doesn't. And you and me talked about it too. I think a little bit, not into detail like this, but we've talked about it. <clears throat> older older men. We actually talked about it last podcast, but we did. I don't think we got into it this way. My my thought is, older men date younger girls that are much more attractive than them. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. But you rarely see a woman that's older. And when I'm talking older, I'm talking 15 plus years older, 20 years older. A woman that's 15 plus years older dating a guy that much younger than her that's a hot a hot guy. You know what I'm saying? Well, I Do you feel you think like... it's the sugar daddy thing? Because men... They might be put together. They might be okay. I'm not saying they're ugly or they're out of shape or anything. And I'm not saying the women are either. But you rarely see the older woman with a, a young guy that's actually hotter than I, her. I, I will bring this up, and you're not going to like it. I don't want to make you red in the neck and mad, but there was one instance that I know of. Where that kind of was happened. Why are you worried about me getting rednecked? Because it was your old... <laughs> it was your old boss. Who she was married to. She's older. He was younger. Right? Oh, gosh, yes, you're right. This is a slam dunk. That's an instance where, yes. Am I allowed to talk about that? And you know this is what? a small town. No, we won't say names. But people already know if they know me who it is. But that's the same, that that actually will help me in my argument that it's probably mostly about success and money. She if was more hotter, successful for them? He was, he was, a, he was, a, he was a young guy trying to get a job. Right, Just, that's what I'm like, saying. Yeah. He was, he was, he was a decent looking guy. Right, he's a good looking guy, still is. And, but much younger. Yeah, much. Like how many years, do you know? He's probably, he's probably upper 40s. Yeah. And she's, she's 70. Yeah. Probably. At but least. I'm just saying. Looks like, 80, 85. Okay, Jeff. <laughs> I'm not playing, man. The years have not been kind to that woman. And that's nice. I said woman. That's the first time I've called her anything but. Okay. All right. All right. All right. In a long time. Okay. Calm down. See what I'm saying? I knew you're going to get all hot and bothered. No, I'm not hot and bothered. It's okay. You okay. can view someone for years and that shouldn't bother them. They shouldn't okay. have freaking PTSD from your psycho. Yeah, you do. Um, but Any, that, that's anyway, an, that's an instance. Joy to work for. <laughs> <laughs> that's an instance that I can think of. But you're right. Most of the time, it's older guys with younger girls. Yes. And her fucking dickhead son. Oh, Sorry. Oh, get that out here there. we go. Yes. All right, I'm done now. Okay. See, I, I, <clears throat> this is Jeff. Oh boy. When when. And I only I don't have enemies. I don't have people I don't like. I don't have people I even get angry at or bring bring up like the hair on my neck. But there's a few certain people mm-hmm. that have done some things that's really hard to get over. And I know I should just forgive them. And I have deep down somewhere. No, you haven't. In the freaking depths of my anus. <laughs> and I'll crap it out later, and I'll be angry again. And I'll be unforgiven. <laughs> But oh my gosh, that's great. Where were we? I I I just it's a that. good example. It is a good example. It's a good example for the other side, but then again, it also like my point is is usually there's an older gentleman, right? Mm-hmm. And he's maybe sixty, sixty five, and he's dating a thirty year old or a thirty five year old. I mean, these are big gaps. I'm not talking eight years. Yeah, six years. 10 years. You know what I mean? It's a big gap. It's a big gap. Like your grandparents even like 15 years it wasn't that that's a that's a pretty big gap. That's a pretty but big gap when you think about it. Like It is, but it's there's a certain number like that one with those people that yeah. you talked about. It's 20 plus years. Yeah. That's that's a huge difference between 12 and it depends on how well you take care of yourself But too. I don't think that it doesn't work. I'm not saying that. It does work. There's many instances where it's worked. I'm just saying, if you if you line up all of them, let's say 20 years difference, that's what we're going to go on. 20 years difference. 
And a lot of the women, I'm just saying for some reason, women can date guys a lot less attractive than in, in when they're the same age. I don't know if they're made to do it because, not made to do it, but like built to be able to do it because guys are just ugly anyway. You know guys what I'm saying? Guys aren't ugly. Well, we are. We're, I, we're, we're, we're not. not beautiful. I, what? I'm just saying. Okay. I think it's, I just, that's my opinion. I'm, I'm, is, is that right? Is that wrong? I don't think it's right or wrong. It's just your opinion. Okay. <clears throat> I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know where to go with that. I don't know where to go with it either. But. What kind of medication did they give it you? It seems like women can put up with more and aren't. Women can put up with more. As That's why it's... superficial. Oh. When they're Ooh. older. Mm. But no, maybe not. Maybe anybody going after a young hot thing would be superficial. No, that's not true either. Maybe they just fall in love with that teenager. And... If they're not a teenager. Nobody's falling in love with a teenager. Some people are. There's some creepy dudes out there. That's disgusting. It that's is, a whole other. It, it is disgusting. That's a whole other level. It's gross. That's okay. a whole other level. Oh, my topic bombed. No, I, I, I. But we kind of talked about it last night. We did. So we're good. So we're good. We can move off of that subject. Okay. All I was wondering was, are older people entitled? And a, it, there was a lady today, that gave me the dirtiest look. I was in traffic. And I was getting on the interstate, and I had to, and I had to yield. And mm-hmm. I, I'm a, dri- I'm a fast driver, right? Yes, you are. I've been told. I'm a fast driver. I drive probably a little bit too fast. So I was coming up to yield, and I mean, I was gonna yield, but I was coming up pretty quickly. But I, I mean, I was, I knew I was. She had the right of way, and I, I stopped. I didn't even. I just, she pulled up, and she almost slowed down to a stop, and looked at me, and like gave me the dirtiest look. And she was this little old lady. And I was like, what? I like went like with my hands in the car. I'm like, what? I'm stopping. Like, God, these people drive me crazy. I, I love old people. But today they rubbed me the wrong way. And I was like, Ugh. and then she gets on the interstate and she doesn't even like, so then I pull in behind her and she doesn't even like merge onto the interstate the right way. Did you go around her? Yeah, I went around her. <laughs> and I looked at her. I didn't do anything. She was a grandma. She's somebody's grandma. Somebody's mom. You know, it drove me. The, you brought you brought this up, and it and it brings up a situation I had the other day. A traffic situation. Are you pointing your <clears> water <throat> bottle at me? They weren't old, but this people need to understand that four way stops. Oh boy. Two way stops. Stop signs. It's not a take a turn thing. What are you talking about? Well, this lady honked at me because here's what happened. There's a car in front of me, right? Right. And then she's coming down the road. She's still moving. She's not at a stop. She's coming down the road. There's a car in front of me. That car pulls away. I pull up and stop. She still hasn't stopped. I go again. She's just starting to stop and honks at me like it's her turn. There are no turns. Whoever stops first gets to go next. Well, yeah. She wasn't stopped. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She wasn't stopped. And that's why I went, because she'd had to run that stop sign in order to get even close to hitting me. Yeah. Before I got to I, I hate that stuff. It, 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 and that irritates you. And it'll turn, it'll, it'll get you so frustrated that it can just affect your mood. That's bad. It is bad. It is bad. That's bad. But it does. <clears throat> and you know, that that's one thing that... I listened to, and I thought you'd like, but I forgot all about it. Wait, I bet you listened to it on Joe Rogan. I did. Yes! I knew it! But he was talking, since because it, it's a Sober October, and he oh, was talking gosh. about last Sober October. This year, they're not doing that crazy contest, like, where oh, they do the physical fitness, because he's like, his wife would leave him, and it's, like, just too crazy, and it's probably not healthy. Yeah. So, just uh, training for five to seven hours a day yeah, just to beat stupid. somebody. Um, but he said, he said, that, and he said, this is why he works out constantly is because <clears throat> when you work out he said he said that you know like last year he realized that his moods were always better because he worked out so hard that he was right. always he got he worked everything out so he said he used that as an example if somebody cuts me off in traffic and I hadn't worked out for a day or two he's like I'm I got all this pent up 
yep. energy that's meant to be released. We're not meant to sit on our couches. We're meant to like get this energy out. And he said he was always he was even nicer because he was so exhausted. I mean, he had the energy to do things, but he didn't have energy for negative things because he'd already he'd released all that strain, that yeah. stress because it's like build up in you and when you exhaust yourself and exert yourself mm-hmm. his philosophy is it, it exercises that out of you no it does that's why I, and I you're more patient with your moods you're more well that's why I talked easier to, to deal with people if you watched my social media yesterday I did no the day before I did it's, I was saying the same thing how weightlifting affects oh yeah your mentality yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and it can be an attitude boost and a mood changer it's absolutely correct a 100% I could go into the gym mad, frustrated. Maybe you and me are fighting. Maybe I'm fighting with the kids. As soon as I put my headphones on, get in my space, start lifting weights, releasing those chemicals, I'm immediately like, okay, I got this. It's so very true. I never thought I would say that mm-hmm. because normally, because I'm a very anxious person, I have a lot of anxiety. Normally, if you would have said, back in the day, if you would have said, Angie, you need to go lift weights. You're anxious. I, that just thinking about the gym and thinking about going to, into the weight room would have caused me so much anxiety. I would had I would have had an attack. The thought of working out. But now that I'm to the point where I am, I see. Yeah, you're right. Get past that. Learn the gym. Learn the weights. Learn how to do it. Start doing it, and it is such a release. It's a release, and like you said, scientifically, that's what he's talking about. Yeah. It releases all these chemicals in your body that you need released daily. Absolutely. Daily. It improves your brain function. And it increases your serotonin levels. Yes. Which is huge. Oh, absolutely. For making it's, you happy. It's, working out and lifting weights for me is therapy. That's why I don't have to take, well, that along with some wine at night is why I don't have to take medication. Because I would have to. Because, I mean, I, I deal with a lot. Not that everybody everybody deals with a lot. Everybody has their own stuff they deal with. But, you know, having your own business, trying to run it, having four, well, five basically kids, most of them being teenagers, most of them being teenage girls, you know, trying to maintain a marriage and everything else, it's a lot. It's a whole lot. <clears throat> and a lot of people would say, I have all that, therefore I do not have time to work out. Right? Mm-hmm. That's bull crap. Because I have all that and I make time. But then they say... Oh, but Angie, you're in the gym all day, so it's easy for you. No, that makes it hard for me because I spend my whole entire time in a gym. That's like really the last, like, you know what I'm saying? I, it doesn't make it easier for me. It well, makes it way more challenging because I've been, I've spent eight hours in the gym. Now I've got to do my workout. You know what I'm but saying? But that's the thing for your mental health and, and just as importantly, your physical health for the longevity of your life, less disease, longer life, more, you know, well, less stress and anxiety. It, you got to work out. So why don't people treat it like taking a shower? I don't know. Or that, brushing their teeth. Thank you. I don't want to brush my teeth. The only reason I brush my teeth is because I freaking have to brush my teeth. Right. Or I will stink. Right. And my teeth will rot. And right. I have to take a shower or else I'll stink. Right. And I'll probably get some funguses. Right. You know what I'm Who, saying? Who's there? I didn't interrupt. Hi. I really hate it. What? I'm in the middle of a rant. Go ahead. I need some floss. You need what, some floss? In You're interrupting our podcast for no. dental floss? Yeah. You could have waited. It's in that drawer right there. Why, why do thing. you feel panic? Why, why do I feel like you're panicky? I'm sorry, brother. I've been she had to walk. Oh. Get, will you call for her? Will you call, yeah, like, will you call for her? We just were talking about brushing teeth. Our daughter interrupts the podcast because she needs dental floss. I'm yeah, glad that we're weird. instilling good. That's a nice mic. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank good you. oral skills with our kids. Got some oral skills. But, um, what was I saying? You're I was, right. I was in a rain. Making it a priority. You don't want to brush your teeth, but you have to because that'll rot out of your head. That's the problem with our, that's the problem with our world. It is a problem for me, right? Working out, we grew up, it's not a requirement. But, but I, what my point was going to be is if you don't wash yourself, you'll get dirty, you'll stink, you'll get funguses, you could get some kind of disease. If you don't brush your teeth and have a good oral care, you're going to rot. The thing is, we can't see what's going on inside. Right. We can't see that the right. arteries are getting clogged. We can't right. see that not releasing those chemicals, what it does. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, it's not, nobody's going to call us out. We don't yeah. have to worry about being embarrassed, except for when we get fat. But now, that's okay in our society. Are you happy with yourself and you're fat? Mm. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's an issue. I'm happy. Well, I'm, I'm fat and beautiful. I'm not saying you're not beautiful. 
Yeah. But nobody. But you're not wishes. healthy. It's not even the point about being beautiful, you know, or, or loving yourself. No, be healthy. Do you love yourself? Because I don't think that you do. Because, like you just said, there's so much going on inside of your body when you're when you're obese like that. If you loved yourself, you'd take care of yourself. And I'm just calling it how it is. You're not taking care of yourself. Therefore, you, there's no way you love yourself. You might accept yourself, but you're dying inside. Right. And you know what the thing is? The people that work their butt off harder than you, harder than me, and they work out, they eat the cleanest diets, they're dying inside too. Oh, well, it's I, just yeah. they're, reducing, they're reducing the risks and they're, reducing, they're, they're extending their life by mm-hmm. doing those things. And, and the excuses that we've all had when we, we weren't into fitness or the people that aren't into fitness, and, and it's not, not that we're beating up on those people. We, we want those people to do it. They want to get healthy and, be, and live a better life and feel good about themselves because everybody in a transformation, none of them, I never see any of them quitting working out. They didn't work out before, right? Mm-hmm. All these transformations you see on Instagram of people losing 200 pounds, they're freaking fitness trainers now or they're addicted. Mm-hmm. They're not going, man. This was all for nothing. I'm gonna go oh, back. Yeah. To, I'm gonna go back to when I I was miserable. And you don't realize how miserable you are until you get away from it. It's like mm-hmm. any other addiction. Mm-hmm. But you get it. You get away from it, and you feel so good, and you realize what it's doing for you, and you stop with the excuses like, well, technology. I can always have heart surgery, or I can take this drug, and it'll. Which usually that's just a band aid. The mm-hmm. drugs they give you to, for no, cholesterol absolutely. or for heart, whatever. But anyway, that's, I'm just ranting. Yeah, you are, but it's okay. It's okay. You're allowed to rant. We welcome the rants. But yeah, I I, I totally agree <clears> with what you're saying, and that's my, my whole my whole um, social media series was on this week is the benefits of weightlifting, and there's so many. It's not just to grow muscles or to look a certain way it's 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 for fat loss i mean it's a great way for fat loss it's it's great for your mentality it's i talked about bone density today i talked about injury prevention you know what i mean um and that's just injury prevention for your daily life it's not even really necessarily for in the gym it's so you can pick up your you know like i said today so you can pick up your toddler better so you could not get injured just picking up a laundry basket and walking it upstairs Right. You know what I mean? You're building up your muscles. You're building up your tendons, which will in turn strengthen and protect your joints. It all works together. So, I mean. And for, for an example, in recovery, if you do injure yourself, because, I mean, I, I'm 44 years old, I, 43 years old. I play basketball every week. Wait, time know? out. I, I, I'm pretty sure that you're 44. I, think, I, am, I, I think I think you am, had a birthday in May and you turned forty four. I am forty four. It's time to I'm, accept I'm the, 44. the double fours. So. That's cool. I like it. It looks better. Okay. All right. Forty four. I go. I play basketball. I'm pretty active, and I pulled some things. Right, like I, I hurt my my leg, which I thought I really pulled some. I thought it was bad. It it hurt for a few days, but I kept working out. And I mean, I played the next week, and it was sore, but it you know it was a little tight. But I just stretched it. You're a monster. Sure. I'm not you're a monster. A beast. I'm trying to give an argument for what you're saying. If I didn't, if I didn't work, use your programs and work out and really do a lot of weightlifting, not that I'm a, a heavy weightlifter, right? But j- just if I didn't do the workouts every five days a week, then that injury might have been a bad one. Yeah, no, it might have right. been a worse you're one. You're absolutely but right. But I wouldn't have recovered as quickly. Yep. I just wouldn't. Have. So, I agree. That's it. All right, well, I'm done here. I think we've ranted enough. I hope you feel better. I think the steroid kicked in. Do you feel like you're going to energize you? Do you feel like you're going to flip a table or something? What is it? What is it? uh, Prednisone? Prednisone. I think it gives you energy. I think it does. Gets you pumped up. I might not go to sleep tonight. Oh, gosh. Anyway. All right, well, until next time, peace out. Later.